Hi. Hello. I'm Terrell, and I'm going to tell you why the mathematical reasons right here for why you don't need money and you don't need to sacrifice, and we can have an awesome world. And this is the logical reason for getting rid of money and sacrifice in your life. We start off with the normal way that the world works, that at least people think it works. You have something you don't want. You have something in excess. We're going to call that X. So your excess you get rid of. It's usually something like work or, you know, product you make or something, resources. Something that you have more than you need of to get rid of. And on the other side, you give it away to someone. So, you know, an employer or a customer or something like that. And in exchange for that, they give you money. They're getting rid of money and giving it to you. And then, once you get your money, you go to the store or whatever and you buy something. I'm going to call that Y. And, you know, the store or whatever gives that to you. So they get rid of it. But in exchange for doing that, you have to give them money. So you get rid of your money and give it to them. And in this whole process, all of these exchanges is undercut by some kind of feeling of sacrifice. You're giving more than you want to give and getting less than you want to get back. And that's true for everyone. But you look at this equation, and if you know algebra, you know that you can simplify equations. So if you look at this equation, you can see that there's some things, they're duplicates. They're the same thing on both sides. That means you can get rid of them. They're extra. So, the things that are duplicates. First of all, we see the big S, the sacrifice, which also can stand for um, suffering and sadness and sickness and all of those awful S things. So let's get rid of those. They're on both sides of the equation. We can get rid of them. What else can we get rid of? Well, plus M minus M, minus M plus M. Same thing on both sides. We can get rid of this. Can we get rid of the negative x? No, because there's no negative x over here. Can we get rid of the plus y? No, because there's no plus y over there. So, what we're left with is we give away our excesses and we get the stuff we need. Society takes our excesses, stores them, and from those excesses gives us what we need. I call this offer what you have in excess freely and take what you want from what is freely offered. And the community society stores our excess resources and uses them to serve our needs. All of that without any money, without any sacrifice. They're extraneous. We don't need them. Isn't that awesome? You can have an amazing, happy life where both you and society are getting what they need and everybody's happy. And it's not some fly-by-night crazy idealist thing. It's pure logic. Thank you.